I am perfect. That's the conversation we're going to have here today. How are you doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Uh, what I wanted, the reason I wanted to talk about this particular topic, I think it's very crucial in people to understand that you are perfect so that you don't become a victim. Because as we've all heard before, you become a victor or a victim. Um, and my thing is, so you don't become a victim. And what do I mean? This is not a religious conversation, so I'm not getting into that particular battle where people want to say, well, according to whatever, this is not what it says. This is not that kind of conversation. What I'm getting to is the fact that when you're born, everything you need in order to survive here on this planet Earth, you're already equipped with. Also, understanding who you are kind of plays into, uh, into this. I remember uh, there's a book that's called The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer, where he talks about the voice. And you guys all know, you've heard the voice because it won't leave you alone. It's talking to you all day and messing with you and, and got different things going on, you know, all the time, just nonstop. The thing is, you hear that voice, right? Without using your ears. There are things that you can envision, like you can see if I tell you, don't think of the color purple or don't see an elephant or don't see a lion. And whatever I tell you automatically will come into your vision. So how do you see those different things without using your eyesight? Haven't you tasted certain foods without the food being there and using your mouth? So bottom line is all the senses that we get as a human being, you can actually use those without physically using those. So who's using those and how is that possible? Think about it. Who's the person that's hearing that voice? If they cut off an arm, you're still you. They cut off a leg, you're still you. Even if you couldn't talk, the world wouldn't be able to really hear you or communicate with you in the normal sense, but you're still you. So who are you? See, that's why I said you have to learn how to separate you. You are perfect. You are the person who's watching all the stuff that's going on. What people do is they link up what you do from a physical perspective to who you actually are. And the decisions you make in the world is based on information that you've acquired along this journey we call life. You follow? People have programmed you into believing and thinking certain things. Um, this one gentleman I was listening to, he calls them rules. And what he basically said is they're BS rules, which I agree with him. And that's that there's a lot of things that have been taught in this world before you and I were born. And basically they're rules on how you should behave, how you should think as a man, how you should be as a woman. All these different things that the culture in which you're born in has created. And they said, this is how it is. No, that's how you're programming me to be who I am. We'll never know because the world would not allow you to ever be yourself. Um, because the moment you step outside and think for yourself, now you're all of a sudden labeled as a rebel or, or a renegade or whatever the negativities people want to tie to it. But think about it. Nothing was ever created in this world by anyone but the people that went against what they were told. Think about it. See, the people that follow exactly what's been told, the, the rules that have been put out there and told what's possible, how you're supposed to think, they don't change the world. They're not the ones that make an impact in the world. They become the sheep of the world. And again, I'm not here to decide whether you fit that or not. I'm just getting you to, to visualize what I'm talking about. And that's that the people that go against the rules, and I'm not saying you have to be a person that goes against the rules or the rules, whatever you want to say, if you want to say it politically correct, that you have to go against those in order to prove a point. I'm saying, but you have to be willing to, to step outside that stuff and say, no, if I don't agree with it, I'm not going to follow it because it's what you guys are telling me. Because one thing I found out to be true is you have the freedom of speech in our society as long as your speech is in agreement with what everybody else agrees on. Think about that. The moment you actually think for yourself is the moment you receive a label. But again, the people that do step out are the ones who actually change the world. And that's why the stuff that I share and teach is really trying to get people to get back in touch with who they really are, which is the perfect them. 
And that's that's the one that came into this world to experience, to ha to basically enjoy. And I won't say it's always to enjoy, but you came here to have the human experience. And hopefully most of them will be joyous along the way. But you really came here to experience being a human being, not to experience someone else's decisions that they put in place for you. And unfortunately, that's the culture in which we live, is that people want to tell you how you should live. And then the moment you step outside that, all of a sudden the labels start to fly at you. So, but anyway, the purpose of this video is because I'm just, I just want you to understand that you are perfect. And again, that just means you're totally equipped to, for everything you're going to need to survive here on, on earth. You're already born with, we're not going to, nobody's going to give that to you. You already came equipped with it. The decisions you make, which people have linked to, to say that's you, the decisions that you've made, I tell people the moment we learn to separate people from decisions, the easier it is to love people, the easier it is to understand people, the easier it is to forgive people because we start to separate. Because now I understand you and I love you, but I may not agree with something you said or did, so let's talk. Because I teach there's two, two major keys to relationship. One is what I call love, which is accepting people just as they are. That's love. Now, people will say there's unconditional or conditional love, and I tell people, no. The moment there's conditions, it's not love. Because conditions means you're telling me you quote-unquote love me as long as I do what you want me to do. That's not love. That's you being a dictator. And telling me I need to follow the rules, the rules that you're creating. And the moment I don't, you're going to take your love from me. For me personally, if that's your definition of love, you can keep it. Because I understand the chances of me doing something against what you want me to do are pretty good. Why? Because I'm not calling you to ask you how I should walk out my life. So the chances of me doing something you don't agree with, pretty good. So that means I can count on your love being taken away from me. Then why play the game? Just keep it. So, and again, this is not to be arrogant. It's not to be flippant. It's not to be you're wrong or any of that. I just want you to understand what I'm getting to is that if that's your definition of love, that means you're going to keep giving it, taking it, give it, take it. As soon as it's, oh, I'm mad at them now, so I'm going to take it. Folks, unconditional is the only love. That's the only way it's love. It means I accept you just as you are. You don't have to change at all. Now, accepting, agreeing are different. I accept you as you are. Because of the actions, remember I said we separate people from their actions. Because of your actions, which I don't agree with, will determine on whether you and I hang out together. Does that make sense? And so that's why I say you're perfect. Not saying all the decisions that you're making will come out perfect. Does that make sense? It's just like when you make a cake. There's certain ingredients that you're going to put into that cake. You're going to put it in a certain pan. Let's say the pan has a dent in it. When it gets through, that cake is perfect. Now, some people go, no, because it's got a dent in it. No, it's not enough sugar. No, it's not. You follow what I'm saying? That's how we look at people. The reality is, it's perfect. Because if you put the exact same ingredients, exact same temperature, exact same pan, you'll get the exact same results. Think about it. So that means it's perfect. You have found the formula to get the cake that you just got. You just get to look and say, but do I like the way the cake turned out. And if I say no, then I go, I need to make some adjustments. Folks, that's what life is all about. That's what it is. We get to decide whether we like the results. And if we like the results, then you keep making it in that same pan. And you keep putting in the exact same ingredients. But if you go, no, nah, it's not sweet enough, or oh, it's too sweet, or I don't like the fact that it's got a ding in it, or I might like the dean because that's my signature, whatever. But the bottom line is you adjust according to try to get to the results that you say you want. Folks, life is the exact same way. Exact same way. We're going, 
you're going to make decisions. You have to. Even if you don't make a decision, it's a decision. Because you decided to do nothing. And there are results that show up from doing nothing. Right? As I said, uh, who was <laughs> I read this thing, it says, if you sit on the train tracks long enough, you're going to get hit by a train. It just, it's going to happen because the train's coming. And if they don't see you, you're done. You can sit there all you want and be like, I ain't going to move. Okay, there's some results that are tied to every decision that we make. Even if you do nothing, there's still some results tied to that. So bottom line, that's why for me and the purpose of this video is to get you to understand that there's nothing wrong with you. And again, the reason I want that clarity is because when you learn to separate you from what you do, then you get to say, I don't like the results that showed up in my cake. And therefore, I need to make some adjustments so I can get the cake more to the liking. And then I keep tweaking and I keep tweaking and I keep... Sound familiar? That's what we do in our life. We keep tweaking and we keep tweaking. That's why I don't use the word failure. I've never used the word failure. I've never failed in my life. Never. I have no idea what failure is. None. Zero. I know I've tried things that didn't go the way that I wanted them to. And then I get to decide on if I want to make adjustments, you know, because I want different results. Or I just go, it's not worth my time, which is another decision. But I get to make decisions based on every, because that's what you do. You make a decision, there's a result. Now you get to make another decision. That's called life. You're going to be making those. You're making them right now, whether you're listening to me or not. You're making a decision. You could be thinking, that Ron sure is crazy. You could be thinking like, huh, that's a good point. You could be thinking, but you know, and also because you want to add to what I'm saying. But the bottom line is you get to decide every step of the way on your life's journey, and then you get to weigh what's the result from the decision that you made, either I like it or I don't, and make another decision. My objective is to keep people to understand we're making life in this journey way more complicated than it's supposed to be. You are perfect. And again, the reason I want you to understand that is because if you're the dented pan, that's, that's you. You're the dented pan. Perfect for a person who wants a cake that has a dent. Because trust me, there's someone who wants that as their signature, that that's their signature on their cakes. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying I would do that. I'm just saying. But the bottom line is you get to decide for yourself when you make the decisions. If I like it or I don't, and but quit the key that we can't do and let the world make those decisions for us because the world is only making decisions based on what it wants, what your culture wants, what the people that are around you want, and they're not taking you into consideration at all because they really don't care what you think. It's you need to follow the rules that we've put in place, and you shouldn't question it. Even though we've been told you got the freedom of speech, I tell people yes, as long as your speech is in agreement with what the rules said they should be. Then you had a freedom to speak because you're in agreement with everybody. The moment you step out is the moment you're going to get people coming after you and speaking against you badly, tearing you down or whatever the case. Because we're all basically been taught, and it started since we are little kids, to just follow like sheep and do what you're told. My thing is, all changes, everything that's created in this world was created by someone who went against what the world told them. Even this painting right here, I guarantee you the person that made this painting probably went through friends and family that told them painting is stupid, you can't make any money, go get a true career. People that with the light that you see out here were told light couldn't exist. Anything in existence came from people who said, I hear you. Why you say it can't be done, watch me go do it. We need more people like that, and that's really the whole purpose of this video, is to get you to understand, you are perfect. The decisions may not be accurate, 
may not be right. But see, you can always look at those. And see, again, that's why I want you to understand the difference. Because as long as you understand, ain't nothing wrong with me, I'm good. Now I get to look at what's really what's going on, which is the decisions that I made. Do I like where I'm at? And if so, keep making those same decisions. And if I don't, let's make some different ones. And I don't have to beat myself up in order to make the changes. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Uh, I look forward to talking to you guys on the next video. If you have any comments, please leave those below. I look forward to that. And thanks again for visiting the site. Take care.